in this video, I'll teach you how to make a sales page and sell digital products directly from Flowdesk. And this is called Flowdesk Checkouts. And you can see what I mean here on the page. Basically, you have a sales page and you have a product. And then once somebody uh, clicks on the buy button, you will be taken to a checkout page. And after that, they're able to pay for this. And after you can basically just show a thank you page and deliver the digital product. Basically with this feature, you can create a sales page, set up a digital product or service and get payments and deliver products to the customer all within Flowdesk. When you combine the sales page with the workflows, you will have an automatic sales engine that will keep selling for you day and night. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I help creators with the technical side of their business. And this is the ninth lesson in my complete Flowdesk course. To see all the lessons, just click on this video banner here and it'll take you to the YouTube playlist where you can select what you want. So let's get started with the checkout. In case you like Flowdesk and you want to use it after the free trial, then use my link in the video description to get the 50% off from the first year. Or if you're already, already doing the free trial, you can just use my coupon code TIPS with PUNCH, all in capital letters, and you just enter it here in the billing page and you get the same discount. So here you have checkouts and notice it's still in beta because it's quite new feature from Flowdesk. So if I click on that, you can again choose a few templates. So I'm going to just click here on digital product and let's see what are the options here. I'm going to choose this one. Let's see how it looks like in the preview because I can see more of it. All right. So this is what you get. There's a few blocks. And the good thing is you can adjust these blocks. You don't need to uh, have all of these. So this looks good to me. I could now start updating this uh, sales page. So let's say let's upload an image. This might be a bit too small image, but maybe it'll work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I guess it works. It's a bit blurry, but for this tutorial, it should be fine. Again, works exactly the same way as with uh, forms and also emails. Uh, just update things here. And what's uh, maybe different here is that you can move these uh, blocks. So for example, if I want this lower, I can click on this and now you see it moved down. But actually this one is probably the most interesting one here. Now, if you're wondering, what is this? What is these uh, lines? You can always just click on this element. And if you click on block, you can cl you click on this device mockup and you won't see it anymore. And you can flip the uh, positions of this. So let's say I want the image on the right or actually on the left, then that's how it shows up here. And we can also adjust the backgrounds, obviously, and the paddings. So right now, for example, let's see what it does. You see that's a bit of space there don't need it right now. I think it's it's fine how it was. From here, you can edit the block. So this is basically the, what you see. It's the same one. You can duplicate it and move them around like we already saw and obviously delete it. Then if you scroll a little bit and you see this add block, if you click on it, you can add new blocks there. So let's say I want to have, I don't know, some text. So from here, I'll just add this one and it appears here. And again, if I click on it, it has all its own settings. And also the block settings are here. So for example, right now there's no background. I could add it now and you see it turns blue. And then if you want people to link to the checkout page, you just click on any of the buttons and you can see that they link automatically to the checkout. So if you add a button somewhere, that's going to take the user directly to the checkout page. So I would now spend a bit of time and create this sales page, add images, add the product image as well, and maybe something about pricing. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it super simple, very quick. Next step would be to go and create a checkout. Now, we don't have a product yet, so let's start with the product. And you can see from here, you can click edit products. So if I click on this, you'll be able to add the product. So from here, let's adjust the price. And uh, we can upload an image for this one. I'm just going to use the ones I have. The image doesn't fit right now, but if I just drag from here, I can also adjust the positioning of the image. So like this, at least you can see my face. Then you can update the name and obviously the description. You would just add it from here. And uh, I also skip this. You can set on sale. For example, if it is on sale, we can say like 19. So then you, it adds a little uh, red mark here, which is really nice. And then you can also make this whole product free. 
obviously that will just remove the price. And that's how simple it is to set up the product. Then you have upsell, so you can upsell uh, other products if you want to do it here, but I don't think I'll need it, so I'm not going to spend time on it, but it works exactly the same way as a product. Then uh, let's uh, select from here. If somebody purchases this, this is the contact details you're asking them. So first name, last name, and email address. In most cases, that's more than enough, but you could also disable so some of these from here. So for example, if you don't want last name, you can disable it. From here, you can also control if you want the people to sign up to your newsletter. But since they already signed up to our newsletter, that's how they kind of found out about this offer. Uh, I'm going to disable this later, but this is where you would update all those things. Let's go to testimonials. And this is uh, just something if you want to add, I'm going to show you where it appears in a second. These are the settings here. And if you have any discounts, you would create from here. So let's go and close this pop up. And now you see I have the product here. Right now I have this logo, but I don't like it. I don't want to have any logo here. If I click anywhere on the background here, this appears and I can start disabling things. So here I have the upsell. No, I don't want it. Also the logo, I don't want it. So I'm going to disable it. Email opt-in, again, don't want it. So disabling it. You have discount codes. Yeah, sure, I can keep that for now. Testimonials, this is where it would appear. Again, just going to disable it. And terms and conditions, this is where you would see them. So this is the checkout page and you have your product. And now let's take a look delivery. And this is like kind of the thank you page. So once they purchase something, this is what they would see. Right now there's a lot of stuff. So what I would do is just click here and you start having the same options again. I think I can just do, yeah, start uh, disabling this because I don't think I need half of these. I just want to have the instructions here. Actually, not even instructions. I'm going to just like this. Uh, my product doesn't need it. From here, you can edit the image, upload something if you want to, and edit the thank you page as well. Okay, let's say I'm happy with this, although this would need a bit of work, a bit of changing colors and stuff like that. I can click on publish, but there's a small thing we haven't done, and that's setting up the payment provider, which is uh, Stripe in this case. So from here, if you click on connect with Stripe, this is the flow to connect Flowdesk to Stripe and we're already in Stripe. So everything you do here is to uh, is for uh, Stripe, not Flowdesk. So from here, it's asking for the email. Let's continue. And now if you have an account like I do, you get this verification code. If you don't have, then you would need to uh, set up the Stripe account. Now, just fill in all the details they ask. It's a bit tedious process because you need to add some business details. And if you don't have a business, you'll have to be like a personal, uh, just personal information. And then you need to confirm your identity, maybe depending on your country. So there's a few steps, but it's definitely worth it because this is how you get paid. So once you're done with that, all your details are here and then just agree and submit. And you probably go back to this page and you'll see that your Stripe verification is still pending. This might take a few minutes. If everything checks out, it should work. But until then, what I want to show you quickly is if you go to Flowdesk and from here, if you hover over this and you have this branding section and from here, you can set up a logo, your brand colors and brand fonts, which makes it easier for you to stay on brand and always use the same fonts and colors in any of the features that Flowdesk offers. And then when you need to check, you can go to checkout to set up and see if uh, Stripe is connected. So now it is connected. I go back to checkout. And now you can see that the publish button is black. If I click on publish, you can now copy this URL and let's open up a new tab. And this is basically your URL. And you can see this is my sales page. So if I click on this buy now button here, you can see that now you have also this, this uh, checkout from here. You can see that I add my details and credit card number, and then I can pay for this product. Good job. You can start making money from your email list. Now, before you run away, there is still one more important lesson before you can start sending your emails. 
and that's verifying your domain name with Flowdesk. Without this, your emails have a higher chance um, basically landing in the spam folder. Just click on this video right here to learn how to do it in the next lesson.